Gertrude G. G.G. Michelson, 1947, Columbia Law School. I went to the law school not with the intention of practicing law. I went to get older and smarter. Columbia had a long history of admitting women. I have a recollection of one of the distinguished members of the faculty looking at my saddle shoes with considerable disdain, but I felt comfortable. Before the wonderful building that the law school is in now, we were in the venerable Kent Hall. I met my husband at Columbia Law School. He had come to the law school after 40 months in combat in the Pacific. He was the smartest boy in the class, which was helpful for me, that's for sure. We were seated alphabetically. So when I married, I was rearranged and were seated with the, with the M's. So I had a whole new cluster of friends. When uh, Michael Sovereign, who was at one time the dean of the law school, became the president of the university. I was his first trustee. And that gave me exposure to the broader university. And I ultimately became chairman of the board of trustees. My election to the chair got a lot of publicity because it was the first time a woman had chaired the board of an Ivy League institution. I didn't feel it was so singular, but apparently the rest of the world thought so. We decided that the college would become co-ed, and that was a monumental decision. So I'm, I'm really proud that that happened on my watch. I have marched at the commencement for many years. I find it particularly moving to see first-generation parents of kids who are graduating, where they, parents have not had that opportunity. I find it emotional and sentimental, and I walk away feeling how, how lucky I am to be associated with the enterprise.